everybody, this is Bow Rage and Nazaki at Lemmercraft, presented by SidGaming.com. We recently upgraded our trade center, so today I'm going to show you the format of how the new trade system works in the trade shops, etc. Same concept as before, but you may notice some things are different. It's going to be the same thing. You're going to have your chest, and then you're going to have a sign up there, optional, to label what you want to sell. All right, everybody, this is what you're going to have to do. The first line is your name, of course. But with this new trade shop, you don't need to put your name in. So for the sake of the video, I won't put my name in here so I can show you guys what's going on. Next one is how many you want to buy of the item. So for this one, I'll do one. Last line is what you want to buy, essentially. So I want to buy diamonds. This is the format. It's called a one-to-one -one format, which is basically buy and sell. But we removed the sell function, so now it's only the buy function. So to replace the sell function, you simply put zero in. So from a customer standpoint of view, this user, he's buying one quantity at 10, which is 10 coins. Remember, this is the format you need to follow right here. See how it automatically updates my name? BioRage. This user is buying one diamond for 10 coins and he is selling zero. Let's put some diamond in there. One of these diamonds. Okay. As you can see, it says uh, the guest has bought one item for 10 coins. This is now how the traits function works. Alright everyone, there's something really important you guys need to pay attention to. This is Nazuki's shop. Right now he's selling diamonds. I'm an admin so I have permission to enter his chest. But if Nazuki decides to not sell diamonds and let's say he wants to sell dirt, when you click on it, it will change for him. His sign will be updated. You can see at the bottom left, updating item on sign. The shop owner cannot update it for some reason. It might be a plug-in error or a bug. Regardless, when you're buying items, make sure you read. Otherwise, you may fall underneath a scam. But it's good news for shop owners. For example, if you don't want to sell dimes anymore, you want to sell compasses, well then, there you are. But your shop price won't change, so you're going to have to erase it and change it. There's also one small thing that you guys should know as well is basically the only lines you really need to fill out is the second and third one. I'll show you an example. Let me put a sign. Okay, there's a sign in my chest. Okay, great. I don't put my name, put one quantity, buying it for what? Five, five coins. Selling at zero. Done. There you go. Nice and easy. This is how the trade center is now, um, as well as how you buy items. If there's any questions, ask in game or post on our forum. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our community forums at www.sitgaming.com. Thank you.